What is going on everybody? My name is Nick and welcome back to another album review. We're taking a look at this uh, first full-length album from Taman called Press It and you know we're gonna talk about this just in you know the entire album where you know re music video reactions focus on the promotion tracks. We're going into the album and talking about that as a whole and then we're gonna tell you how I would spend my money on this if I would. So just generally speaking, there's really only one main point on this that I really, really think is significant and stands out to me. And, you know, that this album from Taemin um, is a swing from his pop uh, sound that they had in his first, in his debut, like mini album or whatever it was. And this is a swing to more, more of what I would consider to be like artistic sort of music. And, um, you know, what I mean by artistic is like not to say that pop music isn't art, but um, this sort of music here that's not like pop specifically, ha I, th I feel um, generally speaking has a bit more, you know, artistic expression and creativity in it than, uh, you know, putting out a, a pop song does, which like I said, you know, it's all art, so it's all relative on the way that you look at it, but that's just my, you know, the way that I would describe it, whereas pop would be mass manufactured. Uh, you know, artistic sort of music is like is like specifically tailor written for the one song that you that you've got, and I think that the, this album is much more artistic than you know Taemin. And Taemin, I think, is a prime example of an artist or an SM group that you look at and can see that SM from over last year, basically the last two years, has shifted from you know every group being like in a box, literally and figuratively. Uh, when it comes literally like when it comes to the music videos and figuratively when it comes to like their just general concept and you know look and style that they've been that they've been you know stuck with since they debuted more or less um and sm has let some of their groups out of the box you know uh shiny's been let out fx is doing something different Taemin has done something different from his you know first from his start to, to now and it's really really great uh, just to see that some of these SM groups who've been pretty much limited to doing one thing for a very very long time are getting to do something very very different and you know as far as as far as like you know SM groups are concerned this is like quite I guess you can say revolutionary and you know it's really really nice uh, so Taemin like I said is the example of this this album this transition from ta from his his uh, first mini album to this album is you know that sort of transition you know defined in the most recent example that you can look at to, to see that um, this entire album I think really focuses more on the vocals versus the music uh, for Taman at least his his debut album wasn't so much it was, it was a pop it was it was a pop album basically you know it was more focused on like performance songs uh, the vocals weren't really I think the main point of it. Um, although, of course, the vocals are always an important part in a song or an album, but, you know, this album has unleashed his voice, put it on display for everyone to, for him to, you know, sing to the, the best of his ability, impress everybody with it, everybody listens, and, you know, that is the main point of, like, every single song. It's not so much the music track, it's listening to him sing, and it's really, really awesome, and, you know, the, the one other thing, too, I said there was one, but two other points. The other point that I want to make, right, is, you know, as with every sort of album and every album review that I do when I look at it, I kind of look at, like, what is the flow of this album? What is the arrangement of the album? And um, for this one specifically, I wouldn't really say that the uh, arrangement or the flow from start to finish really matters too much to me. It doesn't really matter because um, I don't really think that it's the point. You know, it doesn't have to, you know, really flow for this one, even though it kind of does. You know, you, you, you've got the songs that kind of go from, you know, in a sort of predicted order or something like that when you actually listen to it a couple of times. And it's it's great. But the the music, the songs are just basically a vehicle to deliver his lyrics, like I said, which are the main point of the music, I feel. And, you know, it's great. And there's only really one or two songs that have the same general idea to them. Uh, before you move on to something that's different and they're all basically grouped together a little bit in the album as you go through so the, in that way the flow really makes sense in this album so you've got 12 songs with about six i would say different sorts of like stylistic feelings to them and i think it's really great it makes the entire album really interesting to listen to because you know you've got basically two takes on a, the same sort of general idea and you know theme for a song and 
you know, it's good. It's good. You get six different styles, two different takes on each of those, you know, 12 unique sounding songs in one way or another. And that is pretty darn good. So, you know, overall my rating, which is not going to, I'm not going to actually give it a number rating because that's going to make people mad at some point uh, because they won't agree with it. But the way that my ratings work is how and how will I spend my money or if I even will. And for me, you know, I'm going to spend my money to buy an album to put up on the shelf back there somewhere. Um, you know, I'm not really going to make it a priority to buy it right now because there's like half of the songs I really, really like, but the other half I don't particularly enjoy that much. Or I shouldn't say the, the other half don't particularly stand out to me as things that I love. Right. And that's kind of the way it generally is with a lot of music. Right. So there's just, there's every once in a while you find something you really, really like. But then the rest of it is kind of like, you know what? That's a pretty good song. I kind of like it. It's not bad, but it's, I don't think, I don't, you know, I don't hate it, but I also don't love it. You know, I'm just kind of like, I like it. It's in between. We're going to put it on a playlist and, you know, enjoy it when it comes up randomly. Right. That's, you know, kind of the way I feel about half of this album. Um, you know, the, 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 the rock songs, the songs with the guitar and stuff like that. I like those a lot. Um, I like the two promotion songs that they're using. Um, it's overall, you know, there's lots of really cool and interesting things to listen to in this song, in this album, and I think that there will be something in there for everybody to enjoy, you know, regardless of what you really honestly like at, um, in, you know, sound and genre of music. So I think there's something in this for you, uh, no matter if you like Taman or not. So listen to it, find what you like, buy the songs that you like on iTunes at the very least, or you know, if you like the entire album and you want the packaging for it, then buy the, you know, an album that you can hold in your hands as well. So there you go. That's my review, my general thoughts and opinions on this album. I am out of breath because I have not been breathing like I should be. So let's get a conversation started on this album. It's the reason why I make these videos. Uh, do it down in the comment box below, or you can even take it over to social media and, uh, you know, include me in that. You know, you can, I got a Twitter and a Facebook that you can do that on. Uh, you can also follow me on Instagram as another way to be connected on social media. There's links, check out the links in the description box below. So that is going to be it for this video. As always, I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye. We understand and appreciate that. That's a good thing. And then when I'm just going on and on and on and on and on and on and on about the song and the choreography for that song, it, that's also another good thing. So this is brilliant absolutely amazing i love it but again considering his 